Devin Booker, Kendall Jenner's boyfriend, participated in the game on October 22nd at Staples Center. Next to Justin and Haley, the model was seen sitting courtside to cheer the Suns. Let's check it out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video we talk about how Haley and Justin Bieber attend Lakers game with Kendall Jenner. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel or click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Justin Bieber, 27, and Haley Baldwin, 24, went to a Lakers game on a date night. On Friday of October 22nd, the pair was photographed at Staples Center, where the Los Angeles Lakers were playing their old rivals, the Phoenix Suns. Haley wore a streetwear-inspired look that included an oversized green sweatshirt with a jack-o'-lantern design, a Bottega Veneta purse, and green shoes. She completed her ensemble with a pair of black leather leggings, with a straight leg that matched her protective face mask. For the occasion, the Bare Minerals model, with her ombre-colored hair center parted and straight, and her makeup was kept basic with taupe-colored eyeshadow. Justin kept things simple with a black bomber jacket and trousers, with a bright pink beanie for a burst of brightness. A black face mask was also used by the Canadian vocalist. Kendall Jenner, Haley's best friend, also joined the pair for the game. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians actress came to town to cheer on her boyfriend, Devin Booker, who was playing for the Phoenix Suns, a visiting club. Kendall was seen sitting courtside with Haley and Justin, and she shared a quick kiss with her NBA boyfriend. As usual, the brunette dazzled in a black leather jacket with a button-down front, a white t-shirt, black pants, and a black braided purse. Kendall posted a photo of her and Haley's bedazzled cups, which promoted her 818 tequila company during the game. Rapper Saweetie, who was dressed in a black patchwork jacket over a black hoodie and black trousers, was also watching the Lakers in sun. She donned a long red wig under a black baseball cap and carried a black handbag while wearing tabby split-toed boots. It seemed like Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker appeared to be on good terms, as the model wished the Olympian a happy birthday on social media on Saturday, calling him her best buddy. Happy birthday, best friend, at dbook. Jenner, 25, wrote on Instagram above an image of herself playfully sticking her tongue out while Phoenix Suns guard Booker lay behind her on a beach chair. She followed the snap up with a photo of her bow smiling, tagging the baller and adding three hearts emojis to the post. In June, the couple marked their one-year anniversary with a series of Instagram posts. Jenner shared a sweet snapshot of the two, while Booker shared a sunset photo with the words one and a heart emoji as well as Kendall's name. Since Booker's Olympic victory this summer, the pair has been photographed multiple times, boating along the Italian coast shortly after his return from Tokyo. More recently, the two were spotted dining at the same Brooklyn eatery as her ex-boyfriend, Blake Griffin. They were photographed exiting Brooklyn's Zucali last month while in town for New York Fashion Week, around the same time Griffin was spotted outside the pizza parlor. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians alum and Booker, on the other hand, did not allow the Brooklyn Nets forward stop them from flashing PDA as they walked out. On Haley's part, after her uncle Alec Baldwin mistakenly shot two people on the set of his western film Rust in New Mexico, Haley said on Instagram hours before the game that she was heartbroken for everyone involved. For context, when her uncle Alec Baldwin squeezed the trigger on the pretend gun that was intended to be empty, it shot cameraman Helena Hutchins and director Joel Souza. Although the pistol was characterized as having a live round, this does not necessarily mean that it was loaded with a bullet, as other types of debris might have been shot from it. Hutchins was taken to the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, where she eventually died, while Souza was transferred to a neighboring hospital and later discharged. Sending all my love to the family of Helena Hutchins, Haley wrote in her Instagram stories, adding, This is a truly unimaginable and devastating tragedy. She continued, My thoughts are also with Joel Souza as he recovers. I'm absolutely heartbroken for everyone involved. On the other hand, Justin Bieber defended his wife over crazy paparazzi. Justin and Haley are seen walking hand in hand in a viral video, deep in discussion. The paparazzo continues to try to grab Haley's attention by calling out to her and asking, Haley, how are you doing? When this fails to elicit a response from her, the paparazzo becomes obsessed with her uncle Alec Baldwin and what happened on the set of his film Rust. Have you talked to your, um, uncle? The paparazzo asks, hoping to elicit a response from Haley. 
He then continued, Haley, how is he doing? What's up with your uncle? Have you had a chance to speak with him? The constant interrogation wears both of them down, and Justin glares at the paparazzo, declaring, Yo, have some discretion, my boy. The pap eventually backs off after hearing his defense of Haley, as he answers with, All right, Justin, and then stops. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.